Hi everybody, I got my comfy juicer in the mail. It was sent to me to do a review. So I'm going to unbox this today. And like all of my review videos, I always wait about a week, week to 10 days, maybe even up to two weeks. And I will come back and give you a review in this same video. The reason I do that is I believe that I need to use a product more than once to see how great or not so great it really is. So I am going to unbox this today. I did cheat a little bit. I already cut this open. I did not take this out of the box, although I did cut the next box open. We have a box, and guess what we have in the box? Another box. I don't know why they do this, to be honest with you, but they do. And it just wastes boxes. But cause look at this nice big box. It will go to use, don't worry. Okay, so here we have the direction manual. And by the way, this is a, an ice cream maker as well as a juicer, which so far I'm thinking, how cool is that? You only need one appliance, appliance to do both. When you live in an apartment, it's a time, it's a space saver. So then the next thing with appliances we always have after the boxes, we have the foam that they put, put in. Sometimes it's harder to get it out of the box than it is to use the appliance. Okay. Whoops. All right. Okay. So we've got two boxes and a bunch of foam. Okay. Just throw this in here. Now we'll go through. Wow, look at all these parts. To be honest, this is a lot bigger than I thought it was going to be. Oops, drop the phone. As you can see, this is a mint green color, kind of that retro look, but it's very much in style. I believe this is the ice cream maker part. This is the juicer. Obviously, this is a pitcher of some sort. Not sure what this is, but I will let you know. Oh, this is heavy. All right, guys, so here we have, I just want to go through all of these parts so you'll see what you get. Our main juicer. Then we have the juice cup and lid. And that's what this part is here. Then they give us the drive shaft. That's what this is. I assume it goes something like this we get our filter this is the filter that filters out all the skin and the parts of the fruits and veggies that you don't want in your drink we have the ice cream strainer we have the juice cup the juice collector the pulp collector, this, wait a minute, the, we're supposed to have a cleaning brush. I don't see that here. Maybe it's still in the box and I didn't take that out. But then we have the pusher. There was a little bit of assembly involved with this, but you know, the directions were really simple to follow. 
So now I'm going to be making some beet juice. It's a beet, apple, lemon, and ginger recipe. And here I have my pitcher. This opens and closes. The juice will come out of here. So I'm going to open this. Right here is where the pulp comes out. And here's the setting. You have soft fruit and hard fruit. I'm going to pull it out to the hard fruit setting because I do have some hard fruits in here. And the adjustments on here, the um, knob on here. It's on stop, of course. It has juice ice cream, self-clean, which I think that's a great feature to have alone. And then it has a reverse. So the reverse would be used if the pulp going around and around and around gets too full and it jams up in there. By putting it on reverse, the masticating blade will then go in reverse so you can kind of take out the pulp. All right. So, oh, and this is the plunger. Um, I've used this a couple times already. I haven't had to use this yet, but this is in case you have to push push down on here like this. Okay, so let's start turning this on. And by the way, when you first plug this in, it beeps. So we're going to turn the juicer on. Now let's start with the apple. So I have this little cup. Put that in there and dump that in there. I cut up my apples and took the four out of them. It is a little noisy. One large beat. So I stopped this when I saw the juice not coming out anymore. You see how it's still dripping? I don't want to pull this away because then it'll drip onto the table. Just close that and it stops dripping. Look how much juice I got out of that. Just pour this in. Got quite a bit in there. And there is your juice. Easy enough to clean. You can do a self clean by pouring water in here. I just disassemble it and clean everything anyway. Uh, I do the same thing with my Vitamix, but it just comes apart and you can easily hand wash it. Today we're going to make some ice cream. This is the first time I'm trying this as an ice cream maker, so I don't know exactly what I'm going to get with this. So I'm following the directions in the manual and you want to make sure your fruit, if you're going to use it with the fruit, is totally frozen. So freeze it the day before and then when we take it out, you're going to take it out and let it sit for about 15 to 20 minutes just to let it slightly thaw a bit. So for the ice cream, we're going to use this particular cup here. Put that in and then we're just going to just reassemble everything. It really does work, assembles easily. Usually it does. Sometimes I have trouble with this. I don't know why this thing's beeping. There it goes. See, you learn something new every time you use this. There is a chip back here and it tells when your um, top part is not on correctly. From here, we're going to make sure your fruit is cut up. As I said, let's sit out, thaw a little bit. I have my filter, my ice cream filter. Uh, so, please. So, just take this fruit. And I'm going to turn this. I'm actually going to put some in first in the chute. And I also have my pusher in case I need to push it down. I'm just going to put a few of these in first. Now 
Now, before I go on, I have no idea which one of these it's coming out of. I'm thinking it's going to come out of here. So I'm going to put my bell here. So as an ice cream, it's not really very smooth. There's still chunks in here from pretty much the banana, I could tell. It doesn't really turn it that much to make it really like an ice cream. So I'm not going to give it high marks as an ice cream maker, but as the juice, we'll say. As a juicer, I really, really liked it. And the funny thing with when Nate Compy asked if I wanted this to do the review on, my first thought was, I'd really rather have it as an ice cream maker. I'm not going to use it as a juicer much. But it turns out I really, really like it as the juicer, and I will use it as that. So if, as a juicer, I will give it an A+. Now, for the ice cream maker, I would say it's more like a B. Not a B minus, not a B plus, but a B. And as you could see in the previous clip, the ice cream really didn't come out as ice cream. It didn't come out smooth. I could easily make it better than that in my blender. My Vitamix, a high power blender, than what this machine, uh, how it came out in this particular appliance. So I didn't like it that much. Um, you could probably even see it coming out. It was not fluffy. It was not smooth. It was not like water ice. It wasn't evenly. It, it looked like it just took a big thing and just smushed it down and flattened it. So I wasn't very impressed with it as an ice cream maker. But with that said, total, average it out. You take a B, you take an A+. Plus. I give this a good a minus machine altogether. So what I really liked about it though was that safety feature that it had the chip. It was beeping a lot when it wasn't on there right and it will not turn on unless it's locked in the place. That's a really good safety feature to have in it. What I didn't like about it that much and this is not just with this particular appliance. I've had it with other types of appliances is you saw how I, it was a struggle to get that lock in there to get that top portion of the the thing that you put the fruit in. I don't know the name of it. It's in the book. Um, it was tough to get that to lock in the place. It took me a good five minutes. I had to edit a lot of it out of this video to do that till I finally figured it out. But once I got it locked in there, overall I did like this appliance. It wasn't too expensive. If you're looking for a juicer, for the juicer, I highly recommend this. The directions touch everything you need to know. It even had, it didn't have recipes per se, but it did give you some tips on how to make different kinds of ice cream. Uh, there were, are no juicing recipes in here either, but really, you just put the fruit in there and you juice it. Now, if you're interested in buying this product, I do have it linked below. There's an Amazon link right below that you can just click on that. I'll take you right to their page on Amazon. Hope to see you all in my next video. Have a very great week, day, month, summer, spring, summer.